Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Another product review today. I know you're going to get tired of those reviews. <laughs> this is a receiver and I've never presented. Well, yes, no, I have presented a receiver, a couple of receivers before, but uh, this one has a built in battery. It's HF SSB. So CW, I think it has AM also. We'll see. And uh, it's uh, actually pretty darn nice a DSP receiver, it says. Rechargeable with a USB-C connector, so very easy to recharge, on and off button. You have a, uh, a jack for headphones, of course the BNC connector for the antenna. It does come with a little antenna, but it's, it's really crappy, it, you don't want to use it. It also does receive FM radio, which is great. Long wave, medium wave, and short wave. So it goes pretty low in the spectrum. And you know how important uh, listening actually is. Uh, if you just have a receiver, you don't want you know to get your license or you don't want to transmit, uh, just get a receiver, you know. And receiving, especially on HF, would be probably 90% of, uh, of your radio uh, use. So the, uh, the transmitting would be more, in my opinion, for using handhelds for uh, inter-group communications, but on HF, you would be listening most of the time. A uh, nifty uh, little receiver made in China. Uh, it's fairly cheap, so, uh, you know, you won't break the bank. Let's plug it in and uh, see how it works. I'll turn it on with the, uh, the button here in the back. I don't have an antenna, of course, right now, so it's not going to receive anything. And, uh, well, right there, it's on 20 meters. You can uh, change the volume. It's, it's a touch screen, by the way. <laughs> For the price, it's incredible. Touch screen on this receiver. I can change band. Let's say I want to go to uh, 40 meters. I guess it's 41. You know what? Let's uh, let's plug it in. I have my magnetic loop antenna here. I'm going to plug that in. And uh, let's see the mode. We're going to LSB. That's correct. Let's tune around a bit. Oh. Of course, it's not going to be uh, probably as sensitive as uh, an expensive uh, amateur radio. We have an S meter here. Oh, here are the ham bands. Ham. Yep, 40 meters. Okay, great. So you have a band, which are non amateur bands, and ham for the ham bands. And my antenna is tuned for 40 meters, so I can only listen to 40 meters right now. It's only 3 p.m. here, so it's a little bit early for uh, 40 meters, which is uh, an evening band. So lots of features. We have AGC, automatic gain control, attenuator. We have AM, USB, CW. FM starts at 64, those are different settings you can change. You have a scanning function function here for uh, to find signals. Then I assume you can tune to them. Yep. You can select the uh, SSB filter that you want. It's correctly set to uh, 3 uh, kilohertz here. I know I can change the 70 here, but uh, I have to find the right button. Can't seem to be able to select the step here. So, while not the most uh, sensitive receiver out there, it's, it's enough to listen to uh, amateur radio conversations and uh, broadcast uh, stations. Here's the uh, FM band. <laughs> Actually, the sound is pretty good. Yeah, 
And that will allow you to uh, listen, of course, to, uh, to the news. And that's important. Uh, listen to the uh, local and regional radio stations that are around you. You can also listen to AM radio stations. But of course, my antenna is, <laughs> won't receive any of those. You would have to use a long wire for that. I would suggest using a BNC adapter like this one. And that's from, uh, I got that from AliExpress for just, uh, you know, just pretty much nothing. And uh, you plug it in the back. You put a long wire here on this one, up a tree or something like that. And you put the same length of long wire on the black one here and you just lay it on the ground. And that would make an excellent antenna. You can make a dipole with, you know, the two wires uh, going up uh, uh, in the air in opposite directions. And that would be enough to receive uh, most stations this uh, receiver can receive. You have to make sure that uh, you select either FM or, you know, shortwave, SSB, uh, etc. Uh, basically lower frequencies here. Uh, that's for the filtering and that will make your signal uh, much stronger on HF. Same goes for AM, of course. And by the way, it can go down to 153 kilohertz, and that's very, very low. A little disappointing on AM. I, I can barely understand uh, that station. Let's try to find another one. So I can perfectly listen to this. I can understand the conversation, but the sound is just not that great on AM. And I'm tuned properly on the right frequency. It's understandable, but it doesn't sound good. Ah, it's better like this. Maybe with earphones it would be good. It might be overloaded. It's really surprising because it works uh, really, really well in USB, LSB, FM, but not that great and, you know, not very good on AM. And I'm surprised. Probably wasn't uh, tuned properly. That might just be my model here. Of course, this is a sample of one. So I can't really uh, speak for the, uh, for the whole. <laughs> I do like it, but... Uh, I would say that AM has to be has to be better than that. Still usable, but not pleasant to listen to on AM, especially if you want to listen to some music on AM. I really do like that it's USB uh, USB powered uh, for charging, because you can use any phone charger, and that's excellent. You can use a, a USB uh, solar panel on and off button. We're gonna turn it off. Uh, earphones. I should try with uh, earphones on AM. I don't have any right now though. And I did select the uh, the correct uh, filter selection here. So, if not for the AM problem, this would be uh, this would be excellent. And that's all I have to say about that. The link down below. Have a good one.